Do you want to do an intro? You don't get too oh, many no, intros. I'm tired. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do an intro. Need my Anarchy in the Ukulele mug. Sam, I think that needs a close-up. Anarchy in the Ukulele rainbow mug. That looked like it said something else for a second. <laughs> Anarchy. Right, go on, do your intro, do your intro. Hello, and welcome to Anarchy in Ukulele with me, Bongo Boy, and UKD. Me, KD. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, don't, not too hard, they're brand new. So yeah, we've got new Anarchy in the ukulele mugs to go with our t-shirts. I don't have a t-shirt. You haven't got a t-shirt, no. Sorry, could have got you one as well. I was allowed a mug, but I can't keep it. No, you can't keep it. We've only got three of them. <laughs> so, um, we filmed this video before Christmas. Yeah. And it all went wrong, and we couldn't put it out, and it was a disaster, and yes. I was poorly, and I had to come and do a, an emergency video. Um, so, we're going to film it again, and this, what we did is we were looking at some apps to review. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do it on the fly this time. Mm-hmm and um, see what we come up with. We might not review many apps because we thought we might make it a regular feature like every couple of months or so. Sounds good. We'll see what else is out there. So, the idea was... Oh! <laughs> my, my iPad <laughs> magnetised itself oh, to the table. Nice. Um, so, the idea was that we would do this similarly... similarly. It's going well. Oh... I feel like we haven't recorded a video for a long time. I'm drunk. Um, to if you've just been given a ukulele, mm -hmm. so you haven't got a book for it yet or anything like that, and you want to kind of go on the app store, find some apps to use. Yeah. So let's do exactly that, shall we? So if I press my magic little button, <laughs> there we go. I can my, judge you by all of your apps. My you collection got. of apps: <laughs> Funfair, Peppa Pig, a banking app, Is that, YouTube, um, Paul's app, the Peppa Pig one. The, that's Paul's. Yeah. I'm just going. Is there anything embarrassing on there? Not really. Is there? Right. Let's go through to the App Store, and we're going to search ukulele. Let's see what comes up. So I think. We're going to come up with tuners. They always seem to come up. Mm. But there's a few apps on here that are a bit different to what we saw last time. Yeah, there's a few funky looking ones. Yeah, there isn't there. Um, what kind of thing shall we start with? Um, I mean, tried and tested. The Ultimate Guitar app is a good one. For guitars? But it's got ukulele on there, and it's got it piano. Has, it and has got ukulele on there. Other things. Um, oh, go on then. Let's. I'll, I'll update You've that. I've already one. got it. <laughs> yeah, we looked at like a chord finder app before that I really liked, and I don't know which one that was. No. So let's find a chord finder one because that was quite good. Ukulele chords, maybe. Ukulele play chords generator. Learn to play beautiful chords on the ukulele. Let's get that one. Yeah, let's have a look at the musician one, because that's an interesting one. Yep. Let's have a look at this one. So we'll have a look at that one as well. Right. We'll start with guitar chords. Ultimate guitar. Ultimate guitar, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, so, we'll have a quick... Now, this is interesting because this remembers me from before. Because mm -hmm. you have an account. Because I have an account. So it comes up with songs that I've looked for. Barbie Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fever. A bit of Katy Perry on there. Yeah. It's quite an eclectic mix, isn't it? Yeah. Eclectic, some might say. <laughs> some might say that. I'm really tired, Sam. Go away. Where's Abby? Been quite peaceful in the office. Abby's been off for a few days. Um, no comment. <laughs> be brave, Sam. Be brave. Right. So she doesn't watch our videos. <laughs> hold on, we're we're on here. No, she won't watch this. Um, it's quite good. You've got a tuner on there. I would like to use the microphone. La. 
Um, tunings for different things. Has it got a ukulele in the tuner? No. Uninstall that. I mean, it doesn't really need one. It's a chromatic tuner. So it's fine as long as you know which notes that you're tuning for, it will work. Um, a brain, a brain, brain tuner. Tune. tune your brain. This is going to tune your brain. Wow. Um, again, I'm presuming no ukulele. Rude. Right, so um, it has a brain tune. This is all set for guitar, so people probably aren't going to like that that much. But it, it's useful. You've got a metronome in there. Chord library. Can you change that to ukulele? No, you can't. Okay, so some people might be saying, why on earth... I'm glad I made that suggestion. ...are you looking at this app because you can't actually change anything to ukulele? However, 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 when you go into the song... Um, what song should we go into? Barbie Girl. Barbie Girl. When you go into the song, you can set it cross device tab settings. Blah blah blah. You can set it to ukulele in this little box here. So guitar, ukulele, piano. What's it do for piano? Well, that's quite good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's handy. Um, so you've got ukulele chords mm. on there, which okay, I can't zoom in on there. Um, and then it also gives you different ways of voicing them. But that's guitar voicing, so that doesn't help. We'll ignore that. Um, capo se second threat. You Lovely. can transpose it. You can transpose it. So somewhere on here, there's a little transpose button, and you can put it into whatever key you want. Easy to play. All the chords there. So basically, ukulele bit is that bit in the centre, which I can't do on screen. It's confusing, isn't it? <laughs> Um, and then you got chords for your song. You so, like well done, Sam, for rec for recommending the guitar. Ultimate, Ultimate guitar, guitar app. Ultimate guitar. First app that we look at yep. on our ukulele app review. It's the Ultimate one that we guitar. use the most. Do you know, a lot of that is going to be cut yeah. on this vid video that I wasn't going to edit. <laughs> so, let's go back to our apps that we've downloaded. So, down the bottom here... We've got, let's have a look at ukulele chords. We haven't looked at this, so no idea what this one's going to do. Premium access for £2.49 or refuse the offer. I refuse the offer. I'll try to refuse the <laughs> offer. Right, okay, add favourite chords. I mean, they're not my favourite chords. <laughs> I thought you liked B flat. <laughs> no, don't like any of those. Get chords. Oh. Okay. More chords. More chords. More chords. Really flat again. <laughs> it's all a bit random, isn't it? Are these songs? What? I. What is going on? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Try and. Well, I've, I've added them to favourites. <laughs> add those to favourites as well. Right. Okay. Right. There we go. Chord library. What a strange. I guess it's just random chords, isn't it? Um, do you want to play some? So you've got a G minor, an A, a D, and a bar edge, B minor. Um, that feature's just a bit weird, but I've added my favourite chords. Yeah, you've got your favourite ones, that's good. To there. Um, it's got a tuner, which acts as the microphone. I mean, it looks like a fairly accurate tuner, doesn't it? Oh, I am glad that Sam's picked up my ukulele. I mean, the needle on here looks like it's quite accurate. What it doesn't do, which you'll see on some other apps, they beep at you when it's in tune. And I think yeah. for a beginner, that's really helpful. This isn't that helpful, considering how much you seem to be struggling getting it into tune. <laughs> that um, might just be my incompetence. <laughs> chord library. So, chord library. Okay, these features I quite like. Yeah. I think they're quite good, that you're looking for a certain chord that you want to play. And it's going to give you variations on it. <laughs> Diminish. <laughs> Lots good, of variations. Good 
chord to choose because you just move that one around. But an E flat sus4, do you want to play one of them? <laughs> Sam doesn't get to play much ukulele. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, so that I quite like, providing it's all correct. Which, yeah, it is. I quite like the idea of the variations because quite yeah. often I will always go to a D as in that first shape, the um, 2 2 2 0. And I won't think of playing different shapes. So I quite like this for trying yeah. to work things out up the neck. and So that I quite like. Um, what else is on here? That pretty much appears to be it, really. Oh, you can change colours. Themes. You can change colours, but only if you pay for it. Oh. So right, premium access, 249, it's trying to charge me every time, 249, um, unlimited chord generation, I d don't generate your chords. Well that's, I it, can what, see that that could be handy. No, what are you doing generating random chords left, right and centre? If you're trying to write a song and you're stuck, which chords you want to use? Yeah, but they're just random. They might spark something. No. Um, all alternate ukulele tunings, okay, yeah. Saving chords without limits and an additional skin. <laughs> Who doesn't want additional skin? Mm. Uh, £2.49. Well, surely, if you've got three, <laughs> you definitely want a fourth, right? Where's Abby? <laughs> uh, the thing I like most about this is the wording, or refuse the offer. I feel kind of like... So you can't click refuse the offer. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm causing a bit of anarchy by refusing the offer. They do make okay. it a bit hard, yeah. Um, it's all right. It's all like right. The look of it. Yeah, I mean, it's quite simple. I like the chord library. Yeah, the variations. I nice. think that's quite good, but I think there are potentially some better ones. Um, but probably similar sort of price. So two forty nine mm. just for the chord library is quite good. However, you might find an app that does this and other things better. Yeah. I don't. I don't think anything else on there. No, I don't know if there's too many that it. would have the. It won't, let me, it won't let me have any more chords. <laughs> I'm, I'm corded out. The finger markers tell you which, which fingers on what frets and things in the chord library. You say it does or doesn't? It, it does. does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. There's some that don't. Oh, yeah. As a beginner. Like yeah, that. I I do actually genuinely I quite like the chord library. Um, I quite like the fact that if you're doing this. Um, for like instructing people mm -hmm. and you put it on a screen like we've done it's nice and big nice and clear yeah and um, to the point I'm even thinking of let's say if we had paid for this in our favorites although the problem is you you can only put rows of four in your favorites which is a bit weird so no this doesn't work no there was some with more yeah but what I mean is if I just want D minor to be my favorite no, oh, you have to have... I even, have to have F, yeah. B flat and G minor. So, yeah, you have to have those other chords in there, and I find that a little bit... Yeah. Well, actually, completely restrictive, because what I, what I was going to say was this could be great for when we're doing tutorials during our live stream if yeah. we could add in the chords that we were going to use to a favourite screen. Yeah. It's nice and clear. It's very concise. There's not a lot of faff on there. We can actually crop it. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that. So, okay... The chord library is the good thing, but you can't add these to your favourites. Mm. I think it's just it's a bit limited. For an app that wants to charge you, it should be free, really. Yeah. I don't think there's anything on there worth. Yeah, if they allowed you to make your own for. favourites and make your own yeah. collection of chords, then it could potentially be worth it. It it's could. Maybe but not as much as that, but... It's not. Right. Let's get rid of that one. Let's go to this one. So this is Musician. Oh, <laughs> ah, perfect. Just got Sam on screen. How rude is that? <laughs> I'm just going to stay like this. <laughs> let's, um, let's talk about musician. Nobody wants to see Sam, right? Anyone want to see Sam? No one. No, no one volunteered. <laughs> Let's just look at the iPad. Let's look at the iPad. Whoop whoop! How cool are we? <laughs> Let's go into the. Hey, hey, and welcome to Musician. My name is oh, Yona, you, you and I'm name, your teacher. Can't. I'm here to guide you on your musical journey to make right. sure we you can't get the play most this whole of video. it. 
I can't wait to get you started. We're going to skip through. Blah, blah, blah. Showing you how to tune. Pluck the string and tells you what to do. Me this time. Remember, try it now. Samuel. Let's start with string number four. Give us a microphone. Pluck the string and look at the tuner. If the indicator is off center, pluck the string again and turn the correct peg to adjust until you hit the middle. Now let's tune string number three. Remember, trace your finger along the string so you can find the right tuning peg. Great. Now let's tune string number two. Eventually, yeah. And finally, let's tune string number one. I like the way it tells you to tune up. Let it ring. Well done. You're all in tune. Ready to go play. I really like that yeah. for a beginner. That was nice. I like the way this app steps through everything. Mm. Um... So we've done that. Um, tabs. Now, now when, when you, you simply, simply pluck a string like this... Video. They're nicely filmed. Yeah. One furthest oh, away from you. Is to play it open. I'm skipping through Think. because we don't obviously have copyrights for this. Let's try it now. Skip. Get ready to play tabs. Remember, O for open. Anchor your fingers and let your ready? thumb drop on the next string. Play string four, open. Okay, so I think once you play open string... There we go. And now, play string number three. Oh. First time. Another open string, Samuel. And now, play string two. I didn't even two. play it then. Open. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and finally, play string one. Open. Good job. So this takes you through these kind of... Oh. We can't hear this, so this is going to be quite hard. I can't take it anymore. Oh, Three thousand points. Oh, okay. We changed the string. You changed string. You oh, missed it. Missed you it. missed it. Did it wrong. Right. Okay. We've had enough of that. Um, exit. Exit. So it takes you through all these kind of learning things, and we did this one, didn't we? Last okay. Time. So let's have another let's look. Let's get at started it. playing. Chords. We have another video. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Let's get through that, and it's going to tell you an exercise to do. <laughs> playing chords. Skip. 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 Chords that you're going to learn. Here we go. Ready to play right, C major. Alright, let's learn how to play C major. First, let's start by playing one note at a time. So it wants you to play. Great. The way it recognises... Now if you strum the notes together, you get a chord. Here's the same thing, but written with a chord block. Great, Sam's getting now let's marked, try a couple yeah. of strums in a row. Calling you Sam today, not Bongo Boy. Now Get let's ready. learn to play A minor. A minor. A minor. Come First, on. let's pluck the notes again, one note at a time. Now strum them together to get a chord. And here's the same thing again, written with a chord block. Great, now try a couple of strums in a row. Oh, no full marks, unfortunately. Um, so, oh, we're back on air, we're back on air, quick, see. Oh, just, just. Musician, that's, that's like, there's loads of stuff in here. Playing threats, using different fingers, we kind of skip sections there. And then you can go on to play melodies, strumming, um, one finger per threat, ups and down strums. It goes, I mean, Loads. there's so many lessons. I really like musician to the point that we sound like we're sponsored by musician, but <laughs> we're not. Um, I think this is a really good developed app. Yeah. And I think that's because you, they do all sorts of instruments on musician. You can learn to play piano, guitar, flute. Practically anything. Pretty much everything, yeah. And they are to this really, really high standard. Um, however, there is a cost to that. Although what we've got on at the minute is the basics, but if we try and do this lesson, can we do it? Did I pay for Have I paid for this? <laughs> no, oh, I haven't. Okay. So, 
let's have a look. If you sign up for 12 months, $7.99 a month, um, so saving of 46%, but you have to sign up for 12 whole months. Yeah, so it'd be $89.99 in one load. Yes, and um, but you get a seven-day trial. It's not much, really. Um, if you sign up for three months, so you commit to three months, you're $9.99 a month, one month at times $13.99 a month. Yeah. So getting towards double the price of signing up for 12 months. I think it depends how serious you are. Yeah. I think if you're a beginner, I would seriously consider the three months. Yeah, 30 pound, um, Yeah. You have three months to work through everything. Well, I think within three months, you know whether you're going to use it or not and whether you're going to get value from it. Um, it depends. You know, get a teacher. Yeah. You might not need this, but you could get yourself to kind of up to a beginner standard yeah. first while you're trying to find a teacher. If you've just had a ukulele and you haven't had a chance to do that, it would get you started, get the one month. Yeah. Um, it's not cheap, but I don't think it's bad value for money in that the lessons are very, very good. And the fact that the app is listening to you and telling you whether you've got it right or not. So you're getting yeah. some kind of feedback on there. Um, so... I mean, for, Ex the, for the price of a takeaway, you can get three months. Expensive. It does sound like we're selling this for musician, but I just think it's a very, very good app. Uh, and I've not used them before, so I've not used them for any other instrument. What are the but challenges? Are challenges. Weekly challenge. Let's play. Um, so it looks like it's to play a song. Oh. Uh, you have to be paid up to do the challenges. So we can't look at those. There is a whole bunch of songs... Mm -hmm. And I believe there are some free songs somewhere. I might be wrong. I don't know. Let's have a look. No, you've got to pay for the songs as well. Um, but you can have a free trial. You can have a free trial. I think if you're a beginner, I think this is potentially worth the money. Yeah. And I'm, I'm saying it and I'm stressing it because I think if you are a beginner, that's quite a lot of money to gamble, which is why we're looking at these apps. Yeah. And I think this is a particularly good one. What we might do is we'll leave this app here. I think we might do a full review on this app and we'll get Paul mm -hmm. to do like a complete, we'll even pay for him to have a month. You never know. He might actually, might learn he might actually get better. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, he might be able to play a C as well as I can. He might be able to. You can go back to the tuner anytime. The tuner now have the notes on the keys, which I don't think it had before. Right, anyway. <laughs> So that, I think, big thumbs up. I think that's a pretty good app. Yeah. Um, should we have a look at one last one? Yeah. Okay, so this is You Like the Pros. Like us, we are pros. Get the free ukulele fundamentals course into your email. Um, it annoys me a little bit when that pops up literally straight away. Yeah. There we go. Um, so, you like the pros. Now, this is a chap called Terry Carter, who runs the You Like the Pros website, YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and also has a shop in America somewhere. I don't know where it is in America, but somewhere. Um, I'm sure somebody will tell us. Um, it's an interesting one because his business model is it's quite direct and quite sort of. It's very polished and very professional. Yeah. Um, and he gets a bit of criticism, but we won't go into that. I just have done. I always I did that last <laughs> did time. That last time. <laughs> I know. Um, he's, he, he's trying to run a business and he needs to make money and he's trying to make a lot of money. Yeah. But he's got, I think, a million followers or something on YouTube and stuff yeah. like that. So he's definitely doing something right. Um, this app's a bit interesting. So this is the Uke Like the Pros app. But there's not really much on it. Oh, that is a home page. I thought you were on a no different page. But... So I'm, I'm on the home page. So we've got home, and then we've got social, which is just links at Los Angeles. But there he is. Mm -hmm. um, guitarist, producer, producer singer songwriter. Um, lots of people that he's worked with. Blah blah blah. But it's just links to his socials. So. That's a bit strange. Contact, link to his email, and then the website takes you to his 
homepage, which there's lots of memberships and courses that you can do um, that you obviously have to pay for. Mm -hmm. So going back to the home, all there actually is on this app is these kind of initial lessons. Now, the problem that I have with this, there's a few problems. One, it doesn't immediately tell you how much they are. Yeah. So if we go on to them and go purchase now... And it will scan your face and charge you straight away. So 89p. So it's not loads of money. No. Um, but it's... How many videos are there? So oh, lessons. Are they just are they just videos? Or are they, are there they is 24 lessons plus a bonus lesson. What's in the bonus lesson? I don't know. How much is a bonus lesson? <laughs> well, no, it's 89p for the whole lot. Oh, for everything. Okay. Yeah, so it's not 89p a video. It's 89p for the whole lot. There just doesn't really seem to be much content within this for mm. me. Well, I think... If the lesson is just a video, then, yeah, it's not necessarily helpful. Yeah, I mean... A beginner. It's not... It doesn't link to his YouTube videos, and you get... There's a little bit... Swipe down to go back. Swipe forward to rewind. So... I'm not going to show you much of this we're because discuss I don't think we'd be allowed to. Height. Or the four so that, that's So it's it's very well filmed. Yeah. And then you've got the types of ukuleles below to go with it. Um, well, I'm going to because we did already buy this, so I don't know where we go. Um, how to hold? So after the first one, we don't seem to get. Okay, we we do get some notes though. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's handy. I mean, it's basically, it looks like a scanned in PDF <laughs> that we're getting with them. Um, string names. Okay, there's a little bit more than what I thought, maybe, because mm. I think last time we looked at this, I kind of said, just go onto YouTube and you'll find... You'll find videos the same. Pretty much the same videos, even though they're not the same. They're by the same guy with the same topics. Yeah. Um, so you are getting a little bit on some of them, others not. Um, what's what's the bonus video? Let's ruin it for everybody. The, ready to build your ukulele? Yeah, I suspect <laughs> the bonus video is basically selling a course. <laughs> so I'm not going to go into that. Um, which is very uke like the pros. It's all about kind of sign up to the course, get the membership, yeah. pay a subscription a month, um, which is fine. That's that's a business model. We're not against that. Um, some people are. But, you know, he's, he's making professional-looking videos. As an app, it's a bit nothingness to me. Yeah, it's a website. Yeah. And it, it doesn't really stand up as an app at all. Mm. If you compare that to Usition or even that first Chord Finder one. Yeah. Um, which I say, useful finding chords. I think there's better Chord Finder ones than that. So for the next time we do this, we'll have a look for some better Chord Finder apps. We're actually going to do research beforehand. We're going to do some research, so don't rush out. Um, <laughs> if you particularly want a Chord Finder app, ask us in the comments and we'll have a look and send you some links to some because there are better ones than that, I yeah. believe. Um, I wouldn't buy this one. No? No, because I think all of this you can get on YouTube. The little diagrams and things, they're all right, but they're probably featuring the YouTube videos anyway. Yeah. Um, so I don't think you need that. Today's pick of today has to be musician. Yeah, I like musician. Yeah, because I think the learning, the tuner's good, great for a beginner. Yeah, I mean it's 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 not cheap. No. But <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not cheap. Hold on, it's not cheap, but. It's not, not cheap, cheap, but it is probably worth the money for a period of time. Yeah, I maybe wouldn't buy the year one, no. because that's a big commitment. It is, and I think the any anything any time with subscriptions, the danger is that you let that subscription carry on into the following year, and all yeah. of a sudden you've paid £89, £90 on something that you haven't used. Yeah. So I wouldn't do that personally. I think I would sign up for the three months, um, 
with Apple, certainly, I don't know with Android, but with Apple, you sign up, you can go in and then cancel that subscription, <laughs> and it will give you the option to cancel at the three-month stage just to make sure it doesn't carry on renewing. So you, you know that you've got it for three months, and then it won't charge you. Okay. Which I guess you could do with the year one as well, but yeah, um, I personally, I think I'd give it the three months first. Yeah. And try and get as much out of it as you possibly can in three months. In which case, £30, I mean, what's that? Nearly just over the price of a lesson, maybe? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, prices vary so, for lessons. Yeah, and then if you get on well with something like Musician, move on to finding yourself a, a local teacher. Yeah, because some people would argue that why do you need a teacher if you can buy that? Because yeah. that's £30 for three months. A teacher would be maybe... Th- Twenty-five, thirty pound a lesson. Yeah, potentially. But the teacher would be able to customise the lessons to you, having, whereas those are a bit more. Yeah, having a good ukulele teacher or any instrument teacher is fantastic. Yeah. From somebody that learnt a lot of instruments that I play myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can tell. How oh, what a rude. Um, but there's certain instruments that I did have lessons on when I was younger. And then I learnt to play the saxophone a few years ago mm-hmm. and decided I was going to get lessons having not had any instrument lessons for like 25 years. Yeah. And I absolutely loved it. It was yeah. brilliant. And there's no way I would have learnt to play the saxophone without going to those lessons for a couple of years. Yeah. Um, I would have still been kind of like at the basics, not sure whether I was doing it right. So I think certain instruments, it's really good to have somebody just confirming that this is how you do it and that's how you hold it properly and make sure you keep your hand in a certain shape if you're playing the ukulele. Musicians not going to do all of that for you. They'll tell tell you how to do it, but it's not going to tell you whether you're doing that correctly. It's just going to tell you whether the notes are right or not. Yeah, you might find that your wrist is really hurting because you're holding it wrong or something and a musician won't be able to tell you that, but a music teacher would be able to say, well, you need to do this. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's, it's... Bonuses to both, but yeah. But I'm just going to stress: we are not sponsored by Musician. anyone. <laughs> if we're, anyone wants to sponsor we us, we don't. We we're, we're not even on a commission. <laughs> so if you yeah. sign up to Musician, we haven't got a code for you to use that gives us money or anything. But if you could like um, let them know that we told you. If you could it. let them know that we we think they're great, that's fine. Yeah. They, then they might put us give us some money. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's just genuinely. I think it's a really good app for beginners, and worth considering. Anything else to say, Bongo Boy? I'll call you Bongo Boy for about the first time today. Mm, nope. Thanks for joining us. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. He hasn't bought the bell with him, has he? It's over there. Amateur, amateur. I don't know why we let him stand in for Abby. And um, although this is our feature now, we decided, didn't we? Oh, yeah, sure. We're not, we're not having Abby back. No, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, well, for the app feature. We filmed, we filmed the first one with Abby, it was a nightmare. And... Um, <laughs> yeah we'll we'll be back maybe we'll do one next month yeah see how it goes let us know if you like these if not then we won't ever do one again we'll disappear from your screens thank you and goodbye